Now in this one, we're moving from the classic short back and sides into a medium to longer length hairstyle. Really perfect for someone looking to grow their hair out. You'll also see it as softer edges, but with plenty of texture in the top. Watch on to see how to achieve the look. Joining us in the Man From Self studio today is art director at Joe & Co, Matt Tharp. And in the chair, it's Ed. Now, the first thing that always happens is the consultation. It was at this point that Ed told Matt that he was looking to grow his hair out and for Matt to see that Ed had really fine hair, but loads of it. He also saw that it had a natural wave. So working the cut, he would take this all into consideration. Now, Matt started by washing Ed's hair. Now, fine hair can tend to get a little bit greasy, so it's best to use a cleansing shampoo and not something that's overly moisturizing. After washing the hair, Matt applied some Olay Lens grooming cream to prep the hair. Now, with wavy hair like Ed's, a creamy product like this can really help to thicken the hair and make it easier to cut. Now, straight up, if you like men's hair and grooming videos like this, be sure to press subscribe right now. There's new videos every week, so don't miss out. Now into the cut, Matt started by sectioning Ed's hair using a horseshoe section through the top. He then zigzagged slightly high above the curvature of the head down to the recession points at the front. Using scissor over comb, Matt started the cut by working on the back, really keeping the hair shorter at the crown and longer further down. Now this technique is called a reverse graduation. This graduation was taken up behind the ears and then block layered through the sides. Matt wanted to create a more narrow shape in the style, so he took away the excess length. He also wanted to avoid any hard corners in the hairstyle, so we worked with Ed's natural head shape to provide a guide for the cut. Now for this style, the fringe is kept short, so Matt went freehand, cutting it to give it a DIY, almost messy look. Now as you'll see, he cut it in this V shape, making the longest point in the middle. To finish the cut, Matt used a deep point cutting technique through his fingers and over a comb, really to work some texture through the hair, as well as removing some of the excess weight. Now it's also worth noting that Matt really didn't cut any hair off the perimeter or around the base of the neck. Now he chose to do this to keep that length really for Ed who was growing it out. He really just tidied it up using the trimmers underneath. Now a haircut video is your favorite? Hit the like button and let us know in the comments below. Now back to it and before drying the hair, Matt used a little bit of Bumble and Bumble Sumo Tech, warming it between his palms and working through the hair. Now using this product as a pre-styler really helped Matt to build up that texture before drying it. He used a diffuser to remove excess moisture of the hair whilst also helping to set the hairstyle. Matt then used a razor on the ends of the hair, paying particular attention to the sides and onto the recession area, really where the bits of hair were lifting slightly. And finally, Matt used the Bumble and Bumble Does It All hairspray, really to lock it all in place. So there you go, a technical and youthful cut and style. Now you'll see that the shape of this cut has been inspired by current street and skateboarder style, but it is also perfect for anyone in really that transition period of growing their hair out. It's basically the reverse of the classic short back and side with more length at the back and shorter at the front. Now we've already had some really amazing barbers into the Man From Self studio and those videos are already on the channel and we have loads more coming soon so make sure you press subscribe and also make sure those notifications are on and if there's any hairstyles you want to see then let us know in the comments below but until my next new video bye bye